Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ. Thanks for taking this time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really gonna like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Today I'm doing a review of the Fidelity HSA. Fidelity is one of the largest financial providers in the United States, and they have many financial accounts that many of you may already use. Fidelity is one of the largest 401k providers. So if you've ever had a 401k, either with your current company or maybe a past company, you've probably had an account with Fidelity. And so with Fidelity, you can open a traditional brokerage account, you can open savings accounts, checking accounts, IRAs, Roth IRAs, and you can also open a health savings account. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. And so with Fidelity's health savings account, there's absolutely no minimum that you need in order to open the account. And you can set it up to where you receive automatic contributions from your payroll, or you can set it up where you automatically contribute by making deposits from your checking or your savings account. In addition, you can also make a once in a lifetime contribution from your IRA and transfer it to your HSA. And of course, if you already have an HSA with another provider, you can transfer those funds from your current HSA provider to Fidelity. And all contributions to your HSA are tax deductible, and that's one of the great advantages of using a health savings account. So if you're not too familiar with health savings accounts, I actually have a video where I go into more detail about health savings accounts, and I'll have a link below. So you can check out that video. In addition to not having any minimum deposits, there are absolutely no fees for this account as well. And whenever you need to actually use your health savings account funds, you get a debit card through Fidelity. So that way, if you need to pay for any deductibles or any medicine, anything from the pharmacy, you can use the debit card to make those purchases. And so any cash that is actually held into your health savings account, you get an interest rate of 0.82%. While this isn't the greatest interest rate that you can get, and while 0.82% isn't very high when you compare it to online savings accounts where you can get 1.7 or 1.8%, maybe even above 2% interest, it is much higher than many of the big banks like Bank of America and Wells Fargo. And specifically when you compare it to another HSA provider I recently reviewed called Lively, their interest rate is actually twice as high as Lively's interest rate in the health savings account. However, if you want to get the maximum benefit by having a health savings account, then you actually don't want to hold it in savings and you actually don't want to use it for medical expenses, or at least not right now. You get the major benefit by investing the funds in your HSA, just like you would with an IRA or your 401k, because it is technically one form of a retirement account. And so as I mentioned with the Lively review, Lively doesn't actually do the investment side of their HSA account. They actually partner with TD Ameritrade for the investment side. But because Fidelity is actually one of the largest financial service providers in the US, your investments are through Fidelity. And so just like you would have with your traditional brokerage account or an IRA or a Roth IRA, you have the same investment options within your HSA account as you would with any of the other brokerage accounts. And so that means you can invest in stocks, bonds, index funds, ETFs, mutual funds, or even CDs. And as many of these big brokerage accounts have announced recently, there are absolutely no fees for trading within this account. And more recently, I think about a week or two ago, Fidelity actually announced that you can now trade fractional shares. Now, if you're not familiar with fractional shares, that's basically saying that you can invest in a stock without actually having to have the total amount of money needed to buy a full share. So let's say if a stock is $100 and you only have $10, you can actually invest $10 in that stock and it will buy one tenth a share of the company that you choose. And so this is great for those who wanna automatically invest. Maybe you only have 50 or $100 that you can invest every pay period or maybe once per month. That way you're actually putting every single dollar that you have available actually going into work by investing in the specific stock or the index fund or mutual fund that you have available via your brokerage account. Now, example that I like to use is with Amazon stock because with Amazon, their stock is actually over $2,000 per share. And so if you only had 50 or $100 to invest every month, it will take you many months before you can be able to afford just one share of Amazon. But because you're able to purchase fractional shares and buy a piece of Amazon, as soon as you put the money in your account, you can actually buy a piece of Amazon and that way you don't have to wait 10 months or even longer depending on how much money you're able to put aside for investments or specifically within your health savings account. 
And to break down a health savings account specifically, the limits that you have for a health savings account for an individual person is $3,550 per month. That means over the course of a year, if you were to evenly spread out your deposits, it would take you about seven or eight months in order for you to make enough deposits just to buy one share of Amazon. And throughout that seven or eight months, the price of Amazon stock could also be increasing at the same time. So it could actually take you much longer to invest in Amazon if you couldn't buy fractional shares. Now, if you have a family HSA, you actually have double the amount that you can invest, which is $7,100 per year. So if you spread it out evenly throughout the year for your HSA, then it will take you about three or four months before you're able to buy one share of Amazon. So that is one of the great highlights of being able to invest in fractional shares via the Fidelity HSA account. Now, another great feature or a great benefit that Fidelity provides is that they have a mutual fund for the total stock market that actually has a 0% expense ratio. Yes, a 0% expense ratio mutual fund. And now many of you know, I've talked about Vanguard mutual funds in the past and their ETFs. And typically they have one of the lowest, if not the lowest expense ratios in the market. And as far as I know right now, Vanguard doesn't have any ETFs or any mutual funds where the expense ratio is that low, meaning there is no expense ratio. And actually one of the ETFs that I use via the example IRA fund that I have on my Instagram page, make sure you check that out, it's a 0.04% expense ratio. However, there is one downside to this 0% expense ratio index fund. And that is the fact that they only pay out dividends once per year. Now with Vanguard ETFs and mutual funds, they actually pay out their dividends every quarter. And so you can see that over time, you could actually make more money via the stock market because if you're reinvesting those dividends every time you receive them, that means you have three opportunities over the course of a year for you to receive additional dividends that are then reinvested into that same index fund or perhaps another stock or another index fund. But because Fidelity's index fund, this one specifically, the FZROX, that's the ticker symbol, because they only pay it out annually, that means you have to wait a whole year in order to receive dividends and you're not able to reinvest those dividends until you receive them at the end of the year. So when you compare it to the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, which is VTSAX, also known as VTSAX, even though it actually does have an expense ratio, over the long term, you're actually gonna make more money with VTSAX than you will with the FZ Rocks. However, no matter which one you decide to choose, and there may be additional details that may make Fidelity's option a better option, and I'll definitely do a video in the future where I compare those two. No matter which one you choose, both are available via the Fidelity HSA. So overall, Fidelity's HSA looks like a really great option if you're looking to open an HSA account or if you're looking to switch from the provider that you currently use because maybe they have additional fees or maybe their interest rate is lower than Fidelity's. If you currently use Fidelity's HSA, let us know your experience in the comments, whether you like it or whether you dislike it, or whether if you don't use it, and after watching this video, you're actually thinking about using their HSA because of the features that I mentioned in this video. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.